Today, we are going to see a comparison between line standard and end standard. So this is an important point that we are going to see in today's session. Before starting to this session, I request to all of you to subscribe my channel and click on bell icon for more notification. This is the educational channel. So there you can get more information about the different subjects and different concepts from the mechanical engineering. If you want more knowledge about any concept, you can put it on the comment. I will make a video. So guys, we are going to see the what is the comparison between line standard and A standard. So this line standard and A standard we are using whenever we are measured any dimensions by using a, uh, any component by using any instrument. So these instruments are comes under line standard and A standard. So why they are divided into line standard and A standard? What is the principle and what are the different comparison parameters that we are going to see in this session? Before starting to this line standard and A standard, first we will discuss about standard. So a standard is defined as something that is set up and established by an authority as a rule of the measure of quantity, weight, extent, value or quality. Example, if meter is a standard established by an international organization for measurement of length. So standard is a codes, regulations, rules, guidelines and compliance which is used or which is set by authority and it can be accepted worldwide. The role of a standard is to achieve uniform, consistent and repeatable measurements throughout the world. Today our entire industrial economy is based on this interchangeability of parts, the method of manufacture. To achieve this, a major a measuring system adequate to define the features to the accuracy required and the standards of the sufficient accuracy to support the measuring system are necessary. So this is the fundamental of standard, the definition of standard that we are using in a line and end standard. So first we will see the difference or basic principle for line standard and end standard. So if we consider line standard, when the length being measured is expressed as the distance between two lines, then it is called as a line standard. Example are measuring scales, imperial standard yard and international prototype meter. End standard, the principle is that when the length being measured is expressed as the distance between two parallel faces, then it is called as end standard. So by this diagram you can see if you are measuring the distance between two engraved lines then that comes under line standard and the instruments are coming under this line standard. If you are measuring the distance of any object or length of any object in between two parallel flat faces then that comes under end standard instrument. So these are the basic principle of line standard and end standard. Now time of measurement. So if we consider a line standard it is time for measurement is quick. We can measure quickly dimensions by using line standard. But if you consider end standard it required slightly more time because we have to measure two scale. If you consider vernier and micrometer we have to measure the two scale, then we have to multiply with the list, we have to consider the list count to calculate the total value of a distance. So that's why the time required is more in a standard. Accuracy, if you consider the accuracy, line standard limited up to plus or minus 0.2 mm and a standard is giving the good accuracy up to plus or minus 0.001 mm. So that much accuracy is given by this end standard. 
so if you consider the based on the accuracy a standard is good as compared to the line standard measuring process line standard is very easy to measure any dimension of a object but a standard it is difficult because we have to align the end faces of the instrument so if we are getting the correct end faces which is match exactly then we can get the reading so it is slightly difficult process effect of use if you consider the line standard it is very difficult to assume zero so by using this image you can get that it is difficult to assume zero in this line standard and ends are higher done so we can get a correct readings so these are the slip gauges so ends are higher done and based on this ends a parallel faces we can measure the dimension next one errors so if you consider the line standard there is a possibility of maximum errors will get based on the parallax error or the uh, the surface of the line it can wear out by the continuous use or uh, with coming into contact with the surrounding environment that will wear out and the end faces of line they can damage if they fall down on the surface if you are not using it properly so there will give the error that is the parallax error we can get by using line standard so the parallax error we can avoid when we are measuring the dimensions while our eye sight is 90 90 degree to the engraved lines so the parallax error can be possibly occurs on a line standard but in a standard we can avoid that or we are not getting that much parallax error we have to take the readings properly so we can avoid that parallax error if we consider the cost line standard is having low cost which can be easily available and we can use this more number of times as we have to harden the end faces of the end standard so the cost of end standard materials are higher and we have to take the precautions while manufacturing this end standard instruments that the scales are properly marked and we, there is a no error that zero error should be present in this a standard instrument so we have to take care for the engraved lines which are lying on this a standard uh, sorry line standard so they can be wear out when they are coming into contact with the surrounding environment and if you are using continuously so the engraved lines we have to protect to get correct or accurate result and the measuring ends in the end standard we have to protect as they are hardened if you are using it continuously there is a possibility that the material will get wear out so we have to protect that end faces of the end standard and whenever we are using this instruments we have to clean with some paper or cotton paper the end faces so that any dust or rust, uh, dust particles are there they can be removed and while doing the contact with the workpiece surface they uh, the ends are protected so examples of this line standards are scale tape empirical standard yard international prototype meter so these are the examples coming under this line standard and a standard vernier micrometer and slip gauges so if you consider the line standard the scales can be accurately engraved but is difficult to take full advantages of this accuracy and the scale does not possess a built in built in datum which would allow easy scale alignment with the axis of measurement 
and if we consider the n standard the n standards are highly accurate and as well as suited for the measurement of close tolerances they are time consuming in use and provide only one dimension at a time but in while taking the reading point from the line standard we uh, it is a easy and it will not be time consuming and we can measure multiple dimensions at a time and if we consider the slip gauges if group of slip gauges wrong run together to provide a given size therefore frequently ring, ringing leads to damage or inaccuracy if you are using e, uh, slip gauges to measure the dimensions and if you are frequently ringing that then there is a possibility of wear of the end faces so that will give the inaccuracy or damage as end standards have a built in datum because their measuring faces are flat and parallel and can be positively located on the datum surface and the end standards are not subject to parallax error because their use depends on feel of hand so that we have seen the difference between or comparison between line standard and end standard hope you like this video if you like it please stay connected for more videos and subscribe my channel click on bell icon to get more notification if you like it please put it on in the comment box thank you thank you very much